Hi everyone, Hope Pretty K. So today I'm going to do a video on how I get my hair like this, my everyday hair routine. So if you'd like to see how I get these big bouncy curls, then keep watching. Okay, so the tools and products that I'm going to be using today are my Enrapture Extremity Heated Rollers, which I have featured in a few videos before when I've done hair tutorials, but I've not done a hair tutorial in a really long time and loads of you still ask me how I do my hair. So I thought that for one last time, I think this is going to be the last time that I do this video, I'm just going to show you exactly how I do my hair every day and my hair is a bit shorter now than it was when I filmed it back, um, I think it was like September 2012, so quite a long time ago now. So I just thought I would show you, and of course the products that I've been using are completely different too. So obviously I'm going to be using the Enrapture Rollers. I'm also going to be using the L'Oreal uh, TXT Texture Styling Volume Super Sizing Spray, which is a new addition to my hair routine, but I have to say it's absolutely amazing for creating volume and big hair. And then I'm also going to be using some of the Batiste Dry Shampoo, and this is the Monochrome um, edition because I really like that too and obviously I'll be using some hairspray once my hair is all curled and then obviously I've got tangle teasers to just brush through my hair so the first thing that I am obviously going to do is just brush through my hair I've just taken it out of the top knot so it's um looking a bit wild like that so I'm just going to brush through any tangles that there may be then I'm going to spray some of the Batiste dry shampoo my hair does get quite greasy quite easily so I find this just um, saves washing my hair as often and it also adds as you can see quite a lot of volume to it so I'm just going to brush that out so once it's all brushed through I then just kind of figure out where I want my part in and usually I do just off to the side. I do tend to sometimes do a bit more of a central parting, but. So I have heated up my rollers, they're all ready to go. So just gonna move them forward. They heat up in about, probably about a minute. So that's really good to take off the lid. These rollers are very, very well loved. Okay, so I'm just gonna basically, um, take section at a time to put in the rollers hopefully you can see that i always start at the back because that's where you want the most volume and i just kind of brush it up like this and then what i do is i take one of there's just two sizes to the rollers there's the bigger ones like this which are great for volume and then there's the smaller ones which are great for tighter curls so i'm going to take the bigger roller which is great for volume and what I do is, because I've got long hair, hopefully you can see this, I'm going to roll it in the middle, roll that bit round the hair, and then just roll it down like that. Because if I rolled it down the whole way like that, we would literally be here for about 10 years. Now, I'm going to just point out, I'm not a hairdresser. Um, I don't even know what I'm doing, to be honest. But this is literally how I do my hair every single day, and like the majority of my videos. And usually, it's a bit of a mess when it's in rollers it's not perfect at all so just go through all like the front section which is where I want the most volume and just roll all of that up fringy bit here this is where I always get like a kink and I usually have to like straighten it out so what I tend to do is I roll it and then pin it back here so it just means that um, I'm still getting a bit of volume because the fringe is lifted, but it's not going to be really curly and wavy, meaning that I've got to straighten it. So that's what I tend to do with that bit. Because usually when I post like tutorial stuff, people are like, how do you avoid getting kinks? And I'm not really sure if there isn't a way to avoid getting kinks, but that's really the only piece of hair that I do tend to get kinks. So that's how I avoid doing that. Right, so that's the top half of my head and that's where I want the most volume. So now the bottom part I'm going to use um, the smaller rollers as this is where I want more curls. And what I do is obviously I don't attach them to my head, I just roll them up like this. Right, 
right, so that is all my hair and rollers. So I'm looking pretty ridiculous right now. Now, my tips for hair that's going to be longer lasting and more curly and wavy. What I tend to do is, with the Enrapture rollers, they have five bars. And when the five bars are heated up, they're red. What I tend to do, sometimes I'll leave them for a minute longer when they're at full heat, which probably isn't recommendable, but it's not like hot burn in your hand. I tend to find the hotter the roller, obviously, the more effects you're going to have with the curl and the volume, and it's obviously going to last longer. Um, and then obviously leaving them in for as long as possible. Usually I put these in, do my makeup, which takes about 15-20 minutes, take them out, and I'm good to go. So I'm going to use leave them for about that time today, and then I'll be back ready to take them out and show you what I do next. Okay, so now it's time to take the rollers out of my hair, so I'm just going to start from the bottom, kind of work my way up. because they use these rollers and then the curls don't stay around very long and the thing is you do have to use a lot of hairspray I know that not everyone likes hairspray but I do really like the L'Oreal Elna one because it may seem like I'm spraying a hell of a lot of hairspray right now but honestly like you can't feel it in your hair because I hate sticky hair too but this just means that it will stay in place all day I'm also just going to add a bit of volume using the L'Oreal Texture Styling Spray. I just need to kind of calm it down a little bit. So I just kind of spray into my hair and then just ruch it up really. That is how I do my everyday hair. Big, um, big curls with lots of volume so basically that is it that's exactly what I use and what I do on a daily basis so obviously it is like using a rollers are quite hard at first but once you get the hang of it they're really easy and they create really nice hair in like not very long at all like this I think I left these for about 20 minutes which isn't too long at all and then if you hairspray it all then it will stay in place all day so I hope you enjoyed this video seeing how I do my hair every single day if you've got any more questions tweet me at Dizzy Brunette Free and I will answer them but hopefully hopefully I'll have answered everything that you need to know so thanks for watching hope you liked this video give it a thumbs up if you did and you'd like to see more hair tutorials and I'll see you very soon in my next video bye